Hello, and welcome back to another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. Your day might be pretty bad. Maybe you were late, or you forgot to do something, or your friends have let you down somehow. But thankfully, most of that can be dealt with by having a drink, or a cup of tea, or just a good old-fashioned cry. And to help give you a bit of perspective on how big your problems really are, we have some stories for you about people who will want to circle one day in the calendar and never ever get out of bed for it again. Today, we look at the top 10 people who are having a worse day than you. Number 10, Dentist. We start with a female dentist who goes by the name Ultra Dentist on Reddit. She had a father and son come in one day, and at first thinks she's just going to have to sit through this rude man making increasingly misogynistic comments about female dentists, questioning their ability. But this is the kind of nuts and bolts sexism many women deal with all the time. All she does is ask if he'd like a male dentist, which he declines. She returns her attention to the son, but all of a sudden, he lunges forward and takes a bite out of her hand, drawing blood. The father starts screaming, threatening to sue her for trying to give his boy AIDS, which was an extra kick in the teeth. Number 9. Cement Our next guy took the idea of cementing his position a little too literally. Fire and ambulance teams were called to a construction site one morning to rescue a worker. He had been set the job of cleaning the large cement mixer, but was a little too enthusiastic and slipped. The fall injured his leg and he tumbled into the rotating drum where he became stuck. Firefighters had to use a circular saw to cut through the metal and cement in order to get him out and send him to the hospital. Number 8. Tiger in June 2004, there was a huge flood in Tbilisi, the capital city of Georgia. This damaged property, including the enclosures of the local zoo, allowing almost 300 animals to escape. A few days after, two men were inspecting a nearby warehouse to assess what they could claim on the insurance, when suddenly they were attacked. The younger colleague escaped, but not before seeing his friend mauled to death by a white tiger. That puts your boring team meeting in perspective, right? It also was a pretty bad day for the zookeepers as they had to try to shoot the tiger and round up a hippo and various crocodiles. One penguin had an awesome time though and made it 60 kilometers to the border with Azerbaijan. They confiscated its passport after that. Number 7. Alton Towers a trip to a theme park is supposed to be one of the best days of your life, with colorful parades, overindulging on giant snacks, and the thrill of the rides. But for 28 people at Alton Towers in the UK, the ride turned out to be a little too exciting. The roller coaster Air Galactica stopped mid-ride, leaving everyone hanging upside down, staring down at the 65-foot drop beneath them. To make things better, it was in the middle of torrential rain. And the icing on the cake was some of the passengers may have read that just one year before, two women had each lost a leg on the same ride. Number 6. Breakup Finding out the person you love and trust has been cheating on you is guaranteed to wreck your day. But one way to overcome this is to make sure that you ruin theirs even more. One woman's revenge was a creative tour through the couple's history. She left him a note telling him how she'd found out about Kelsey since his Facebook was open. She then packaged up his stuff and left him clues about where to find it, such as, your video games are where we first kissed, and your TV is where we went all the way. Happy hunting! Number 5. Meteorite Anne Hodges must have said something really mean about the solar system at some point in her life, as she is still, to this day, the only person to ever be hit by a meteorite. It was 1954 in Alabama, and Anne was happily napping on the couch when she was rudely awakened by a hunk of rock the size of an orange bursting through the ceiling, smashing her radio, and hitting her thigh. It left a massive bruise. But also, all the unwanted media attention from the event is suspected to have ruined her life and her health. 
Nice one, space. Number four, marital law. Frank E. Blake Jr. had a history of drug abuse and was serving time in a Virginia jail. But he could still rely on the love and support of his family, so his second wife came to visit him. Unfortunately, it was on the same day that his third wife also chose to show up, and it turned out the third marriage had happened before the second divorce was finalized. Blake Jr. didn't realize, but he'd committed bigamy, a felony offense, and the judge added 18 months to his sentence. Blake Jr. would do anything for love, but he really shouldn't have done that. Number 3. Own Goal Andres Escobar was playing for Colombia in the 1994 World Cup when they lost a group game to the USA, who were hosting the tournament. Losing was bad enough, but Escobar, when trying to defend a cross, accidentally put the ball into his own net and that one goal cost his country the game. Okay, own goals happen and sure, it'll hurt even more in the biggest tournament in the world against a country with a lot of political tension with your own. But he didn't realize how bad that day was until he returned to Colombia and was murdered in a car park for his blunder. Number two, shark cage. The natural world is full of wonders, and some of us use our holidays to escape the cities and get back out and reconnect with nature. One such experience off the coast of Mexico is a little more thrilling than the average, since you get a boat trip, some scuba gear, and a chance to get up close and personal with the killers of the ocean, sharks. But in 2016, a great white smashed through the bar and ended up inside the cage with the diver, taking up almost all of the space. Thankfully, the shark wiggled free and the diver was unharmed, but no doubt they needed to change wetsuits. Number one, train of events. One Canadian man had a very bizarre chain of events, or probably train of events is more appropriate. The 51-year-old fell asleep drunk in the grassy patch behind his house. His unfinished cigarette set the grass ablaze. He awoke very confused, his clothes on fire, but in his panic, he just grabbed a bicycle and pedaled out of there. While escaping, he managed to get hit by a train. And as if all that wasn't enough, thanks to the police being called, they found the bike was stolen and he was the suspect of an old assault case. Ladies and gents, I think we have a winner. Thanks for watching another Daily Top 10's Top 10 video. And remember, it's our duty to entertain and yours to subscribe. Please subscribe to Daily Top 10. Please subscribe to the list of things. Woo!